Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of writing an API using GIN framework in Golang. In this session, we'll understand what is a middleware. We'll understand how to use middleware in Go. We'll understand different ways to write middleware function in Go and why there are different ways present to write the middleware, whether it's a request middleware or a response middleware. We'll apply middleware to the route, that is individual routes. We'll apply them to individual route group and we'll also learn how to apply them in the whole application at once. Now, before we start on the middleware, let me tell you what a middleware in the request pipeline is. So in a request pipeline, a middleware are functions that have access to request object as well as the response object and the next function in the application in the request response cycle. Now, what? let me explain you by a diagram of what I meant by that is. So if you can see in my screen, so this is a normal application flow or a request is handled in an application that do not have a middleware present. Now the request come to a server port, server handles it to the connection handler, and finally the connection handler handles or uh, pass it on to the app code where there is an app main entry point. From that main entry point, the code logic is executed and finally the response is served back to the server. Now what will happen in case of middleware? Let's look into this in this screen. Now what happens is when the request comes to any port in the server, server provided uh, serves it to the connection handler, Connection handler pass it to the app code. App code. Now, the, when I say app code, that means the program or our program main entry point. Now, that main entry point, in case a request middleware is present, it will pass that information or it will pass that request to the request middleware where the logic will be executed. Once that logic is executed successfully, then it will pass it to the code logic. Once the code logic is executed successfully, now that that control flow will be passed to the response middleware where anything related to the response will be amended say for example we have to add header remove header or verify anything we can do that and finally the response will be served from a different port in the server now let me explain you every bit of information that i have given programmatically here so before we start so let me bring back the previous program that I have explained to you here. Now, in this program, when I, what I have done is I have initiated a GIN using GIN.new. So there is no middleware attached since we are using the GIN. Now I have created three routes, get data, get data one, and get data two. Now on calling this route, what is happening is if they are returning the response, it says, hi, I am get data method. Hi, I am get data one method. Hi, I am get data two method. So these are the three methods and my GIN server is running on port 8080 because this is the default port that it runs if we do not provide the port. Let me uh, write a middle request middleware code for you. In this code, I will write an authentication middleware that will authenticate the header called token and a value of auth in it. And it will return or it will say no token present if no token is passed in the header, else it will serve the request properly. Now to do that, let me create a package first. So for package, let me create a, I'll say middleware. Now inside it, I'll create a file called middleware.go and I'll say, okay, package middleware. Now, let me do one thing. Now, when we write a middleware, we have to tell our GIN framework that we are writing a middleware. So there is a specific syntax of it. Now there are two types of syntaxes for writing the middleware. I'll explain both of them one by one and their purpose as well. So let me start with the function. So I'll say authenticate. Now this authenticate will have an object called C that will be a pointer to GIN dot context. As we know that GIN dot context is actually the only context that is present within the GIN that contains every bit of information about the request and response in its object. Now inside this, I will say uh, if uh, not, and I will say C dot request dot header dot get the value of header called token equal to say, I'll say auth. Then what I want it to do, I'll say C dot abort with JSON and the response code should be 500 and output should be gin dot s. And I will say uh, it should return a message. 
called token not present. Now see what I have written in here. And finally, I will say return this because I do not want the next function in the request pipeline to execute. Now, if this condition does not satisfy, then do C dot next and done. So using this, I have returned the one request middleware called authenticate. Now, what I'm doing is I am saying, okay, call this function in my request uh, pipeline where this context or this object will contain every bit of information about the request and response. Now I am checking if there is an header called token and the value of that header or in my request, if it is present, then c.net. That is passed it to the next pipeline, which essentially is my code logic. Now, if this condition does not satisfy, now do what will what it will do is it will say, okay, context.abort with status JSON. That means return the response as JSON with the status code of 500 and send this message. Now I have created a middleware. Now let's use this middleware. Now, when we use the middleware, there are multiple ways to use it, right? So I will explain you by first using the middleware at an app level. When I'll use the middleware at an app level, that means whenever I'll use the middleware, it will be applied to all the routes. That means all three routes in here. So what I will do here is I'll say router dot use. Now I will say middleware dot authenticate and I will save it. Okay, so it is taking some time to save. Okay, so now and I use the middleware like this, so it will be applied to all the endpoints. Now let's run the program and show you what I have done. Now I will say go run main dot go here. Say allow access. Now let's go here and I will say localhost 8080 slash get data. Currently, I'm not passing any token here. You see, it says token not present. Let me show you in the here. Now you see here, I am saying so I'm not passing any token because it is not selected. You say token not present, the status code is 500 internal server error. You see. Now, as soon as I include the token and a value of auth, it will start giving me the output. You see, output is 200 and it is saying, hi, I am get data method. Now, let's do it the same for get data one. Now, let me see, you see, it says token not present because the, it is applied to all the methods or all the routes. Let's do it for get data two as well. It says token not present. Now, if I will say token and the value of token is auth, it will start giving me proper response with the status code of 200. Now, let me come back to the code. Now, what if I have to use this middleware very specific to the route? Now, here now I want my middleware to be applied to get data only. Now, what I will do is I will pass it as a param handler to this route. That is all I have to do. Now, this specific middleware will be applied to get data only, not to get data one and get data two. Let me show you here. I'll do go dot run main run main dot go. Let me run it. Let me go back to the postman and let's see. I'll remove the token from here. It says token not present. Data 500. I'll add the token. Now it says I'm in get data method. Data code 200. Now let's check about get data one. I have removed the token, not using token. Middleware is not applied. It should give 200. See, it is giving 200. Now, if I get data two, token is not there. It middleware is not applied, so it should run properly. You see, data code 200, and I am in get data map. Now, what if I have a group of routes in my uh, application and I want to apply middleware into group? So let's create a group as well. So say, for example, my application has a group called admin. And uh, in that admin, I am saying router dot group and admin inside that group. I'm saying these two are part of the group. 
let me remove it from here. Yes. So, okay. So here, this should be admin because these are the part of the admin group. Okay. Now, what if I want to apply this middleware to whatever is in the admin group? If I have to apply the middleware in one go, so I will pass the middleware function like this. So using this, it will be applied to the whole group. And in case, if I want to apply the middleware only to the uh, URL specific to the group, so in a same way that how we have done previously, I will do it like this. Now let me show you when I do it for the middleware. Let me close this, let me run it. Now with the using middleware, there's a specific thing that I want to highlight here because it's part of the admin group and admin URL starts from admin. Now my URL will be like this, slash admin slash get data instead of direct get data because it belongs to the admin group and the route of admin group is slash admin. Now let me run this using this. Now I'll say get data and I'll say admin. Now, first, let's not pass the token. It says token not present, 500. Now, let's pass the token. It says get data method. Now, for the other, so this middleware is applied only to the admin group, not to the get data to group. It should run. No token present. It should run with 200 status response. Okay. So, you see, now we can see that how middleware or a request middleware is created and then how a request middleware can be used in different ways, either applied to whole or the all the routes in one go, apply to a specific group or apply to a group of route as well. Now let's talk about a different way to write the middleware. So one way is like this. Now let me do one thing. Let me comment this middleware for, for some time. And I will route the same middleware in a different way. Let me first write the middleware and then I will explain you. I will say func and the name of that function will be say authenticate. It will return gin dot handler func. And inside this handler func, what I will do is I will say return func of this. Perfect. Now inside this context, what I will write is, I will write this whole function from if to this. Now let's write it here for you. Let's do it C and inside it, I will say C dot next. Now you see, it is also doing exactly the same thing what this function was doing, but this is a different way to write the request handler. Now, why this is there is a different way and what extra this way of writing the request middleware in Go or a response middleware Go is doing. Now, in case of request specifically, what will happen if I will write this way of request middleware, what I can do is there is a room here where I can write right custom logic to be applied before my middleware is executed this is why there are two ways and this is the real time use case of or the real world use case of using the middleware if we use the different way of uh, writing the middleware so one way a custom way may be maybe, maybe uh, when our middleware execute, we have to call an authentication API to bring the token information. And then using this or that authentication API, we have to use, okay, in, in our request pipeline has provided me a token value. I'll call the authentication API, bring the token value from that. Then I'll ma match the token value. And based on that, I will decide whether I have to process the request or not. So this is one another way of writing the request middleware. So let me remove it and uncomment the previous way of middleware. Now let's do one thing. Now let's write a middleware that will be executed on after the request, after the code logic has been executed and before serving the response. Let's add a 
response header to it. Now, what I will do is I will write one more, say fun add header. Now, this will have a context of C and it will be gain dot context. Now, what this will have is it will add a header information. Now, how to write it? I'll say C dot writer dot header dot add, not add, but set. I will set the header and the header name is say key and the value is value. Now, after that, what I will do, C dot next and done. So using this, what will happen is, okay, now since I have used the middleware, so I can pass this middleware to my application. Say, let me get back to this before that. Let me remove the group from here before I explain everything to you. And I will say this to be a router. So I am placing my application in the same format as the project. There are only three routes. Now in this route, I'm calling the authenticate middleware and that is all I'm doing. Now this authenticate is already being called now here. Now what I want is whenever a request to the get data will come, first request will be set for this token. And once it has executed, then this has to be uh, running and this should add the header of key value in my header response and finally the response should be served. So what I will do is I'll say add header and I will pass this as well. I will say middleware dot add header and done. So basically this is how I can chain my middleware function. So this is for the request. This is for the response. How my GIN framework is identifying it because here I'm playing around with the request object. Here I'm writing on the response object. So it will automatically chain them in the sequence that I have given to, to them. Yeah, now let's run it. So what I will do here is go run main.co. So it has started running on port 8080. Now let's see. Uh, let's go to get data. Let's remove admin. It's not an admin. I'll pass the token. Now first remove the token. It should give 500 and token not present let's add the token it will give 200 i am get data method and also it will add a header with a key of key and value of value there is there'll be an header you see there's an header present with key and value now this is all about the uh, middleware in go and i've explained you how you can use middleware in different ways and how a request middleware can be used, how a response middleware can be used in the GIN framework in Golang. There are many more to come. Do come, do like, subscribe, or comment if you really like my videos. Thank you very much.